Now at 4.30, relief for three families after months of waiting. Investigators make an arrest in a wrong way crash that left three young people dead, including a social media influencer. It happened back in December on State Route 44 near the Volusia County Fairgrounds. Glad you're with us. I'm Ginger Gadsden. This is News 6 at 4.30. And I'm Matt Austin. Lisa and Julie are off tonight. Well, right after the crash, investigators say the wrong way driver ran off. He was finally arrested last night, but as News 6's Molly Reed reports, he's not the only one facing charges. This is where that crash happened almost four months ago. Now, the families of the three who died have been waiting for investigators to finally catch that wrong way driver. But now we're told that not only is the wrong way driver facing charges, but so is the driver of the car he hit. One, two, three counts of vehicular homicide then leaving the scene of a crash with death. A Volusia County judge reading the charges that wrong way driver, 53-year-old Thomas Petri, now faces. He was arrested just last night. Leaving the scene of a crash involving serious bodily injury. Prosecutors say on December 11th, 2022, Petri was driving a pickup truck in the wrong lanes on State Route 44 when he crashed head-on into a sedan driven by 22-year-old Devin Perkins. Troopers say the three passengers in the car with Perkins died on the scene. Perkins was seriously injured. They say Petri left the scene on foot, leaving his injured passenger behind. Investigators say DNA tests from his car later proved he was the driver of the truck. And they found he had just left the bar where he had been drinking for several hours. But Perkins is now also facing vehicular homicide charges. Troopers say he was traveling at nearly 100 miles per hour at the time of the crash and later tested to have alcohol and drugs in his system, but it did not say how much. I guess I feel as though he's been through enough. The families of the three killed in his car, Kyle Moser, Ava Fellerman, and Alexander Delin, also known as TikTok influencer Ali Spice, were relieved to hear Petri was caught, but are disappointed in Perkins' arrest. Alexander's father, Jimmy Delin, says they are going to support Perkins. He feels the charges against him are too severe, even if he was speeding. Well, if it weren't for a drunk driver going the wrong direction with his headlights off, um, I, we wouldn't be in this position. Perkins was arrested later this morning. He's expected to be in court for his first appearance tomorrow morning. In Volusia County, Molly Reed getting results, News 6.